one of the largest projects that BP has in its portfolio. Massively important. A lot of hard work by many different people. Generations have led to this amazing milestone. It's an absolute privilege to work on Clare Ridge project of this scale. When construction work and commissioning work finished and we took away the scaffolding, you really saw what an amazing facility Clare Ridge is going to be. I'm honoured, privileged to have been part of the team and to have worked with so many very skilled, highly professional, hugely passionate people. We've invested a lot into um, Clare Ridge project. We've now taken it to a place to start its next 40 years. We've got such a strong safety culture on Clare Ridge. People genuinely care for each other and they really have pride in what's been achieved towards First Oil. So many years and so much effort from so many people and actually to see that start up and, uh, and produce oil in, uh, safely and uh, in a sustainable way is fantastic. Well, the future is uh, fantastic for, uh, for GWO and for, the, for BP on Clare Ridge. Uh, we have a fantastic opportunity here for a long-term programme. Um, we have an energised team on board, really enthusiastic, really keen to get on with operations. Supporting the hookup has been good, but this is what we're really looking forward to. We're really looking forward to operating the plant and producing oil and gas, because that's what we enjoy doing. Clare Field was discovered in 1977. The first development for the Clare Field was the Clare Phase 1 project and first oil was in 2005. Clare Ridge followed the uh, successful production from uh, the first few years of Phase 1 and uh, it was sanctioned in 2011. Ridge is probably going to be the biggest development on the Clare Field and um, the marker of the success of Clare Field as a whole. BP are very committed to the North Sea and Clare Ridge is one of the main big projects that we've been bringing on and working on in the recent years. Woffer Partners, uh, ConocoPhillips, Chevron and Shell. We have 120,000 barrels a day when we reach Plateau on this project and bringing in 10% of the UK production. We followed a detailed contract and strategy since we kicked off the project in 2011. It encompassed uh, a lot of uh, international and national companies. The engineering done here in the UK, a uh, combination through Amic, Wood and then Worley Parsons. It um, moved into construction in 2012 at our Korea Fabrication Yard. Uh, we built 53,000 tonnes worth of modules, eight large modules worth Hyundai Heavy Industries. And we also work with Kaferner in Norway for the construction of the two large jackets. The scale of the project has been a, a differentiator over other types of project. For me, it's been the tightest one team approach that I've seen. You walk into the project and you can't differentiate. Everyone is invested in the success of the project. You just feel it. Everyone wants to do the best for the project. And um, in 2013, the first uh, construction in the field took place with the installation of the two jackets. It was 91,000 nautical miles of transportation to get those eight modules over from Korea to the North Sea and installed. The heavy lift contractor for Clare Ridge was Herama. One of the biggest heavy lift vessels in the world, the Herama TF, was used to do the installation. We installed the QU modules in 2015. and the DP modules, the part of the platform that uh, connects us up to the reservoir, installed in the summer of 2016. Really quick installation for such a, a huge structure. 
just 95 hours. It's almost unprecedented. And it was the start for me of the last, uh, the last part of the journey. With those modules in place, we could get to work for the hookup and commissioning phase. It's probably one of the biggest campaigns in the North Sea in the past 20 years. 10 million workers. 750 people on the platform every day. We've involved over 6,000 people as part of making up that 750 through the course of the last three years. 4,000 flights in order to get those people to work. And in order to give those people the materials that they need, we've had to ship 35,000 tonnes of materials in over 10,000 containers. A huge amount of effort from BP and all our contractors. We've had over 6,000 people through our induction. So that's up mans and down mans right throughout the three years. And we've been able to maintain a strong safety culture. Safe design quality build is, uh, is, is the the philosophy that, that drives us through GPO and, and everything that we do, um, a, a quality build is a safe operation. Clare Ridge is here for 40 years, um, we've driven quality into it and I think for me what I'm proud about is we've done it in a manner that's respectful, um, integrated and I think we'll all leave here and have memories of what we've actually left behind. One of the uh, standard highlights for me on this project was the uh, site integrated test. That was the first time that we ran the, all the drilling equipment as an integrated piece. It really began to feel like an operating rig. It's got state-of-the-art uh, drilling uh, with a lot of automation. It's a very advanced drill rig, uh, one of the most modern in the North Sea, and it's been designed to drill an extended drilling program over the next 20 to 30 years. The rig has been developed over many years. A lot of good work has gone into it, into the design. Uh, into the commissioning. It's a really good rig. Clare is a massive field. Um, lots of oil, seven billion barrels of oil in place. The challenges are extracting it in an economic way. Um, so Ridge is all about trying to get the wells in the right place, access fractures in the rock, which help give us higher production rates and making sure we get enough water in the ground to support that and keep our production up for the long term. Well, our history and our track record is taking very complex problems and solving them. And Claire represents that. We actually have a very complex reservoir from a rock perspective, and that's one of the reasons why we have put EOR low salt in place. We've got the first offshore low salt facility uh, anywhere in the world, and that's going to enhance the recovery of oil and gas from the reservoir and bring value to BP. We don't do projects of this scale offshore very often. You can see the smile on everyone's faces. They finally had uh, uh, the start of the Clare Ridge operations. The OIM was just delighted. I've been on the Clare Ridge project for nearly four years now, and I've loved every minute of offshore. Yes, it's been challenging, and there's been problems and issues, and, but uh, we've all got together uh, and actually you know, got through those issues. And I actually feel really proud of, uh, of the facility that's been handed over to us from uh, projects. I mean, the accommodation facilities are second to none, they're really good, and uh, all of the team appreciate that, and uh, that makes a big, big difference. Clare Ridge, it's a mammoth platform, and uh, you really feel proud when you're both landing or leaving the platform to look back and see this great feat that we have delivered. Performance levels on the project that set a new benchmark for um, working at this scale um, in the offshore environment. Our ambition as a leadership team is everybody goes home to their loved ones. Um, that's been done and engaged throughout the uh, entire workforce um, through the project lifecycle. It just feels fantastic. I'm so proud of everybody. To be drilling wells that people have planned as well is fantastic. There's nothing like seeing the results of what you do by watching a well being drilled and see the, see the outcome. For the next six years, there'll be about 160 people every day out there as part of the core crew, drilling wells, producing the oil and gas. We've still got to ramp right up to full throughput and that's, that's going to be a great, great journey. We're going to really enjoy it. It's taken 40 years to get here from Discovery in 1977. Going forward, now that we've had startup, it is even more exciting because effectively we're the custodians of 640 million barrels and we're responsible for making sure that we maximise the recovery of those barrels and maximise value as quickly as possible from that. We've taken an approach, a phased approach, 
with Ridge, we'll go after multiple sands and horizons, and that'll lead into the future of Claire. Great project, it's deployed really well, and we just see ways of continuously making it better. It's the beginning, and so with that, for the people that have been involved, they are leaving an amazing legacy. They are part of something so special relative to value, not only for the UK, for BP and our partners, but for one, maybe two generations to come. They've made decisions that will impact value, people's lives, employment, that will be resilient for decades.